Hi, my name is Amanda Evanall, and I graduated from Christopher Newport University with my master's in 2015. Currently, I'm a third grade teacher at Middlesex Elementary School in Virginia. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about art. So even though I'm not an art teacher, we use art in my classroom all the time. For example, my students often um, write stories and then illustrate what they want their readers to see. And then we also make a lot of observations in science and they sketch out what they see so we use art all the time and I'm sure you do too. I'm going to show you some ways on how to make art even more fun and easy. So first I'm going to share my screen with you so I can show you some symbols that will help to make um, drawing even more simple. So it is a circle is one of them. And if you, um, I know it can be a hard task to draw a circle freehand or just by yourself. So if you wanna make it even more easy, find some things around um, like a cup, for instance, that you could trace that is circular. The next one is a dot. And that's a circle that's just been filled in. Next, we have a curved line and then a straight line and finally an angle. So an angle is when two lines come together to create a point or it kind of looks like a corner. So these are just five symbols that we can use to create drawings. So I'll show you uh, one of mine. This is a little crab and I want to see if you're able to find some of those symbols. So let's start first with our circle. So I have a circle here for his body and then also here for his eyes. Next, can you find any dots? I use dots to create the pupils on his eyes. Next, I want you to look for curved lines. So here I have some curved lines on his um, claws and then also that smile is a curved line. Next, next let's look for straight lines. I created straight lines for his eyes right here. And finally, angles. This picture has tons of angles. So his claw right here, we have it on his arms, on his legs, at the point here. Um, so that picture had tons of angles. So I use those five simple symbols in order to create this image. Now I'm gonna show you how to draw something um, for you to use. So my inspiration here was my CNU bear. Once I found my inspiration on what I wanted to draw, then I looked up teddy bears online so I could see how other artists drew them. Then I look for those symbols to see how those artists drew them and what they used to create that image. So this is what I came up with. I got inspirations from some other artists online and you could also look in some books to get inspiration. So I'm gonna show you how to draw your very own bear. First, I'm gonna share my screen with you again so you can see a video of how I did that by looking at the different symbols. So you want to find one that you're inspired by and then see if you can create it yourself. So I'm going to start here. I noticed how my bear had a circle for a head. Next, I see curved lines to create those ears, one on the outside and then one on the inside. So I could quickly do that. Next, I saw that there is a smaller circle on the inside. And then it kind of this circular object that was kind of like a curved line. Next I drew a straight line down and a curved line to make his smile. Next I drew um, some circles and those could be dots if you wanted to fill them in. Next I saw some um, curved line and straight line going down so that it could kind of look like a stuffed bear instead of just a regular bear. Next I see this big curved line. So each time you go to draw something, you look back at what your inspiration is. And so you shouldn't have to just memorize what you saw and know, okay, the head was a circle and then there was a curved line. Every time before you draw something, look back over at your image and then jot it down and then look back and jot it down. So you should be looking back and forth each time you're drawing it. 
So once you get your own image, it is not going to look the exact same as what the other artist that inspired you was. And it shouldn't because your own art should be unique for you. Um, so make sure that um, you're not disappointed if it doesn't look exactly the same because your art should be your own and you should be inspired by your own. And also, if you ever mess up, for example, here I have a little heart, that's because I accidentally put something there, um, some of my paint dripped, and then I just turned it into a heart. So mess up, you can always fix it. So um, I mentioned how I painted this, and that's my next video. So if you do not have access to paint at home, no worries. I'm going to show you how you can make your own. So all you need is a piece of um, plastic. You could, I'm going to pause the video real quick so I can fix that air. All right, I think I have it fixed, so let me go ahead and share my screen with you again. So all you need is a piece of plastic. I just cut this stripped from a little um, baggie, like a sandwich bag. Next, you're going to use washable markers and you're just going to color over the um, plastic piece. Next, you need a cup of water and a paintbrush and you're just gonna drip some water into where you colored. And this is going to create your own watercolor paint using the markers. So I'm just going to fill in my circles here and my curved lines um, in order to create some um, color on my image. So when I want to use different colors, I just color a new spot on my piece of plastic, or you could easily wipe it away with a napkin. So again, I'm just um, dabbing some of the water onto my paintbrush and then my paintbrush into where I colored on my marker. Um, and then I can use that to go onto my image. So if you don't have a paintbrush, you can see here I'm just using my finger. So with permission, you could do that. You could also use a Q-tip or um, just find some things around the house. Just make sure you get permission first. So although this is washable, I suggest you put down a towel so that you don't make too much of a mess, but it can be a lot of fun. So here I'm just filling in some of those um, blank spots with my paint. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And next I'm going to show you how to add some details. Because like I said, you want to make sure that your picture is your own and unique and you don't want it to look like anybody else's. So next I'm going to show you a video of how to add some detail. So here I use some different colored markers um, to create some different detail in the background to create some flowers. Um, so I just kind of layer different colors over top of each other. Here I'm going to show you I'm layering some different colored greens um, and so I could create the image of grass. So know that you're not stuck to just using um, one color. Watercolors are awesome for layering different colors on top of one another. So it's a lot of fun to play around with that. And next, I'm going to show you, if you don't have access to um, markers to create your own paint, you could also create a really fun image using different patterns. So here I have, again, another picture that I drew of my bear and it looks unique. So I'm gonna pause again so that I can fix it. I think I was able to fix it, so I'm gonna share my screen again with you. Um, so we wanna make sure that everything we draw is unique to ourselves. This one is really cool. Basically what you're doing is in each new spot of your image, you're going to be creating a new pattern. So you can see that I've already filled some out. Um, you can just do a repeating pattern, so the same thing over and over again, or you can just kind of fill the space however you'd like. You can see here I did some polka dots, um, here's some wavy lines, here's some diamonds, some hearts. So just kind of get inspired by things that are around you or that you just have fun drawing. And it makes a really cool image because it still looks like the object but it is a unique design so I really enjoy doing different pattern drawings as well so I'm going to show you um, each of my images and I hope you can see how they're each different 
but the inspiration is all the same. So I use those five basic symbols in order to create each of my images. I was able to draw with marker. I was able to um, make my own watercolor paint. I hope that you're able to do that too. Again, I apologize for the technical difficulties, but I hope that um, it worked out for you to watch those videos. And I really hope that you enjoy the video and you're able to try some. I hope I can see some of what you were able to draw and um, have a great one. Bye.